Hey guys, this video is going to be about SkyDrive and Microsoft Office uh, and the integration between SkyDrive and Office. So some of you already know what SkyDrive is, some of you have an idea. Uh, let me break it down to you nice and simple. SkyDrive is Microsoft competition with Apple's iCloud. SkyDrive is a cloud. It's uh, connected to your live account when you create a live account with Microsoft. And you actually have a lot of space on SkyDrive and the beauty of what they did is they connected it to Microsoft Office kind of creating this virtual folder that wherever you have internet you can access certain files so right off the bat when you install Office 2013 Pro it installs SkyDrive Professional and if you look at my system tray down here in the corner if you can see I'm not sure how this auto zoom thing works but you'll see here I have an icon saying SkyDrive is up to date and let me click on that and let me go to uh, SkyDrive.com and let me log in uh, under my account and let me show you what we have here so here I have a bunch of documents on SkyDrive um, you'll see here that I have six uh, six point forty three gigs uh, available of free space that's actually a lot of space um, and it's it's very very cool because I have different folders here I actually have music I have documents I have uh, some work material um, some public work. You can actually share folders with people. It is very, very, very cool. Um, and what I wanted to show you is not just that I can, uh, oh, you see here my authenticated PCs appear here, which is very nice. I'm not going to click on this because it's going to show you my all my files, but um, you'll see here that I can actually share folders with people. Uh, you see here, for example, I have, uh, let go to, let's go to my Office Live documents. And you'll see here, I actually have Word documents here that I can edit with Office 365. But that's not really what I want to focus on. Other than the fact that this is like a portable drive, it is a cloud. Um, it is a, a virtual folder up on the web. Any computer in the world, let's say you're in China or in America, or you're in a library or in your house, you can access SkyDrive and always work on the same file or download and share it. Um, so the beauty of this is the integration they have with Microsoft Office. Uh, it's actually really incredible. Uh, I'm going to open um, Word, for example, right? And I'm going to say I want to create a brand new document. And uh, I'm going to create, here, let me open a template of a certificate uh, created. Um, let's say certificate award. Uh, let's put in uh, $100 sample. We okay recipient I'll put me presenter I'll put me um, okay so now I have this file here right now I'm working and working and working I can go to file I can go to save as and I right away I'm be being given an option to save directly to SkyDrive over saving to my computer I mean I can obviously save to my computer and I could save it anywhere I want to my desktop to my downloads but if I go to SkyDrive and I click here and I go to Office uh, Documents. You'll see here I actually have a virtual directory here uh, of SkyDrive. Same thing. I have the same thing with Google with uh, Google Drive and I have the same thing with Apple's iCloud. Um, but I really like that this is integrated with Office. I'm going to write, I'm going to name this test certificate and I'm going to save it. So now what, what happened is, is Word actually saved this document right in my SkyDrive. That means that if I go somewhere else right now outside of my office or outside of wherever I am, I can actually open this file and continue working on it where I am just by going in here. I'll show you again. Let me just X this out um, and go back to Microsoft Word. And I'm going to go to open uh, documents from SkyDrive. And I'm going to see, and look, here are some, some files that I have here. Um, that I actually saved on SkyDrive. So here's my test certificate. So it's going to download the, see it's connected to SkyDrive, download the certificate. I can actually make live changes to it. I could save it and it will automatically sync to SkyDrive. Now this works also with Excel, with Publisher, with everything. I mean, it's it's really, 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 really nice. I just opened Excel, for example, and I'm going to say open other workbook and I can actually open right away from SkyDrive. I can just go here and I can go and, and select any kind of file that I want. Now the beauty of this uh, whole thing also is that it's a part of my computer now. Um, if I go to my computer and you'll see here I have uh, all my drives and whatnot. 
uh, you'll see here that under favorites I have a SkyDrive folder and if I click on that folder it's actually going to show me my SkyDrive in File Explorer or Windows Explorer and I can go and I can create a brand new folder for example and I'm going to say uh, sample I'm just going to call it sample and you'll right away see a little green icon of two arrows next to it that means that it's pending to be synced uh, when it turns green with a check that means that it, it was successfully synced uh, as long as SkyDrive is on this computer uh, you'll see here that it's it's up to date and um, there you go, I just now synced it. So sample now has a little green uh, check next to it. So let's say I'm going to drag a, a file into there. Let's go into my archive and uh, I have a, a, a document called test. I'm just going to drag into my SkyDrive folder. And again, it has that little icon next to it and it's just pending syncing. And if I go online right now, um, not to my suggestion tool, but here, let me open my SkyDrive again. Let me access it by clicking here, open my SkyDrive folder. Oh. No, nope, not my folder. I'm going to actually go online to SkyDrive and I have to sign in again. This is very secure, by the way. It's something I really like. And the fact that it interacts with all your Microsoft product is really, really brilliant. Um, the, the integration of this is very nice. Uh, okay, so um, actually I want to manage storage. I have 7 gigs of storage available. You always have free 7 gigs. And you can even get more storage. Um, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to look. At, I'm not going to manage my storage. Just wanted to uh, access my folder, uh, and you'll see here, the folder that I created called Sample is right here. I created it in my computer through Windows Explorer, and I added this test document, um, and I can actually open it, download and open it, and you'll see that it's it's just called Test. Now I have a lot of options. I can right click it. I can download it. I can share it. I can actually embed it into a website as a download link. I can rename it, delete it, copy it, uh, move it look at its properties for example um, you see this file is not shared I can actually right click this file and I can choose um, share now this looks like an actual program I can actually send this uh, via email I can post it to LinkedIn or I could just get a link create a link to view view and edit and make it public this is very very cool I, I actually really really happen to like the idea that you can do this um, this and using my Google account my uh, Google Drive account is amazing because I can get files out to people, I can work on something somewhere, open it elsewhere, have multiple people collaborating on it, and, and that is a beautiful thing. I can actually go here and I can create an Excel workbook. Um, here I'm going to create an Excel sheet. And it's going to open an actual application of Excel. What I'm used to seeing right here in my computer, I actually have it right here in my browser, uh, which is very, very cool. And I can actually share this with other people. Um, so this is this is very 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 nice. This is a cloud version of Office, and, and that's what I really wanted to point out here also when when showing you this video that it's not just the integration of having a virtual cloud somewhere, but it's like carrying Microsoft Office in your pocket, um, wherever you go. So this is this is an awesome awesome thing uh, in my opinion. You have all your tabs, your ribbons, and this is totally virtual. This is like HTML5 and ASP that they built this in and it's really really beautiful and it looks like the actual program Excel that we are accustomed to. Um, and But we have it on a virtual drive. We have a, like a portable version of it. And again the only draw to this is you must have internet. Without internet you can't. If you look at the bottom corner you'll see it says one person is editing and it's me. And if I share this to somebody I can have two people working on this spreadsheet at one time. Uh, minimizing the amount of work. So if I have an extremely tedious amount of work to do, um, I can actually work with someone and you'll be able to see them do this. You'll actually actually see uh, things moving. You'll see um, uh, letters being typed and things highlighted. And again, this is a concept that uh, Google actually had for a very long time because <coughs> if I log into Google, uh, and I should be logged into my Google account, uh, right here yeah I am if I go to Google and I and I go to let me just type in drive uh, and I access my Google Drive account I have the same thing I, I have here multiple things I have spreadsheets I can create different spreadsheets um, you'll see here I actually have a bunch of spreadsheets here um, let me see here sample for YouTube I believe this is a form that I created nope this is a spreadsheet these are actually results from a form that I created now take a look at this this is a uh, YouTube's version of uh, Excel kind of sorta I mean um, this is Google's version of Microsoft Excel. It, it, it has cells, it has columns, it has different functions, formulas. So you can compare this with something like this. Um, 
and you see the difference right away. I mean, I'm holding the two side by side. This is Google's Drive, Google Drive's spreadsheet editor, and this is Sky Drives, which I must say I'm really, really used to the GUI and the UI and the look and feel of Excel here um, because I work with it constantly. Uh, so that's really the, the, the beautiful thing. Uh, again, you can share and embed it, and Microsoft did an amazing job with this thing. Um, I, I happen to be very, very fond of, of what they did with this. Um, I use it often. Um, it's very, very cool, especially when uh, you, you're wondering, hey, where can I upload a file for someone to download it? Well, you can put a movie on here and send it to somebody, and they can download it, and it's safe and secure. Um, so that's that pretty much concludes my video on, on showing you SkyDrive and explaining the integration between SkyDrive and Office. Office and SkyDrive are connected where you create with Office, and you share and you make portability with SkyDrive. So you have your documents always with you. I mean, uh, I don't even have to carry a jump drive anymore because I could just put everything here. I mean, I have a jump drive for secure, secure, ultra, James Bond, secure things. But I use SkyDrive for just portability, um, making something, saving it so I don't forget it, to-do lists, uh, spreadsheets, forms, InfoPath also. You can write forms. But if you do forms, you want to use Google Drive. That's for sure. Google Google is amazing when it comes to forms. I actually have two videos up on my channel explaining how to use Google Drive to create forms. Um, but SkyDrive, yeah, it is a beaut. And uh, it works with all um, it works with all applications of, of Office. Um, as long as you're logged in. You see, I'm always signed in. Uh, into my account. So when I use Office, I'm always logged in a, a, as my account and my name, and I always have access to SkyDrive. Uh, so I'm going to can this tutorial here. Um, I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit or kind of got an insight, or maybe some of you are going right now to www.live.com or skydrive.com. I believe it's skydrive.com. Uh, just type in SkyDrive in Google. Yeah, skydrive.live.com. And create yourself an account. Um, it's 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 very it's free to do here. You just click on sign up now. It's free and, and it works with everything. Um, and it takes seconds to do. And when you, if you have an existing Xbox account, forgot Xbox does work with this too. Hotmail, SkyDrive, Xbox, they're all synced together. Um, so when you create a live account, or you already have one for Messenger or Skype. You actually already have a SkyDrive account, so all you got to do is just activate it. And next time you use Office, uh, you can save files directly to SkyDrive and start using it uh, and really getting into the whole uh, cloud technology, which is it's a really big word since 2011, the cloud. You know, everyone's going to the cloud. Um, so yeah, you can work in the cloud also. Thank you for watching. Um, like the video if you like it. Subscribe. And... You're welcome to watch all my videos. I have a lot of wonderful tutorials and a lot of great videos uh, on my channel. You're welcome to watch uh, and learn. And uh, I like teaching and showing. And uh, thank you. Bye, guys.